So I think there's, uh, there's a lot of advice that I could give. Um, I would say, again, always do your best and always give your 150%. Um, and, and the rest really will take care of itself. It's not about you know, your, the next promotion or the next pay raise. It's really about the job that you're trying to do and, and what you're trying to achieve. Um, second thing is, as you're moving up, don't be afraid to build a strong team around you because you can't do everything yourself. And so having people who are smart and good at their jobs and encouraging them and treating them with respect and the way you want to be treated, I think is really, really critical. I think that you, as you're, as you're moving up, make sure that you treat people the way you want to be treated because that is very true that you never know who you're going to meet on your way down. You never know who you're going to, who you're going to meet along the way. Uh, in this community especially, it's about relationships. So it may not be the relationship you have with them today. I, I would also recommend that you, you always try to help other people because you're going to need their help somewhere along the way. And, and relationships can cut through a lot of bureaucracy that you can't, by going the normal channels, that you can't get done. So I would say, you know, really pay attention to relationships and be true to, you know, helping other people because you will need their help. Um, I think it's also really important to be honest with yourself about what you're good at and what you're not because, you know, not everybody can be good at everything. And so if you bring people onto your team that complement who you are, then, then, um, you know, you, you create great synergy. The other thing is don't try to do things that you're not that great at. It will just get you into trouble. And don't try to go into jobs that you're not qualified for because you'll be disappointed and, and that's, you know, everybody wants to be valued and do what they do best. So I'd say it's really important to be honest with yourself and know what you're good at and what you're not. Um, what you're not. Um, I think the environment you create as you're going through jobs is also important. So creating an environment where people can um, take risks and you can reward innovation, that people can make mistakes and if you, if you are in an area where you want to be innovative that they start small and you can scale it. But a, an environment where people feel safe, that they can voice issues or problems that they have in the organization because not recognizing them and ignoring them doesn't make them go away, it just makes them fester and so having a way to really understand what's going on in an organization and making it a safe place um, is important. I think everybody should hold themselves um, themselves accountable. You should hold your teammates accountable and each other accountable because when you have people in an organization who do significantly more than other people, it, it does degrade the engagement over time. So I, employee engagement is, is really important to me. And the last thing is communicate and, and communicate. And when you're really tired of communicating, communicate some more. I mean, in my office, I try to do that and it's just never enough. So I think people understand and learn things different and get, get differently and then they, they learn in a different way. So, you know, communicating is, is, we hear that all the time, but I think it's really important to employees to, and as you move up to communicate um, within your organization.